It's base set Scarlet and Violet versus base set Sword and Shield in today's Battle of the Boxes. This is a base set booster box of Scarlet and Violet, and right next to it is a base set booster box of Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be opening both of these booster boxes to see which one has the best pulls inside. And also, just so you guys know, I'm going to be giving another Scarlet and Violet base set booster box to one subscriber here on the channel. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these sets is going to take the win. All right, let's crack open our first booster box here. This is going to be Scarlet and Violet, the newest set released. Booster boxes of these go for around $125 right now because the MSRP of Pokemon cards has actually increased. So, yeah, it's, it's right out the gate already well over $100 per booster box here. But the cool thing is... We actually have the prices on a lot of these cards now, and the Miriam card is around $80 raw. That's just, the, uh, that's probably the most expensive one, the special illustration one. We have Halucha. Then after that, we have the Mariah Don special illustration card, which goes for around $60, and the Gardevoir special illustration. That also goes for around $50, and uh, those are the top three most valuable cards. We got the Great Tusk EX as our first pull. Not too bad. Forgot to give you that code card as well, but let's keep going here. So yeah, we're pretty much just going to kind of eyeball it up and see which one of these actually has the, I guess, like the coolest pulls and the most value. Um, oh, already. Whoa, whoa okay. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, look at that. It's the gold version of it. And then the regular one was in the, uh, the last card in there. Dude, that's crazy. Already with the gold card pull. And that's going to be that special three gold star rarity, which is the highest rarity in the set. Scarlet and Violet already making it look easy here. With a big pull. Um, actually, we had two pulls. One really big pull. Another one. We're getting an illustration card now. Oh, my God. The pulls are nonstop. I don't know. Sword and Shield base might have a tough time. All right. Pulls are just nonstop right now. And uh, it's pretty cool to see this. And this is the newest set, like I mentioned earlier. Skiddo. Things have changed. Um, it, it was years ago, like three years ago, when Sword and Shield base dropped. So it's been a three-year span in Pokemon cards. And things are definitely a lot different. I mean, just looking at these cards, they look a lot different. For starters, at a minimum, you get a hollow and two reverse hollows in every pack. You have the silver slash grayish borders, whatever you want to call them, depending on how you look at them and which rarity they are. Um, on a lot of these cards, you got new Pokemon, Mariodon. You got the illustrations. I mean, special, special illustrations on top of that. You have... The EX cards, you got a little bit of everything in here. A lot of everything, actually. I haven't actually sat down and opened a whole booster box of uh, Sword and Shield base set in a long time. So I'm kind of nervous to see like what the pull rates are going to be in comparison to something like this. It, it, can it keep up? Do the top pulls even have like the high value? Uh, or can they compare in value like with Scarlet and Violet base set? I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. Team Star Grunt, nice. So we got a double rarity card there. That's the two silver star rarity. We're still getting the pulls. I think we probably got maybe like $12 in value so far. We're just counting like the big pulls. So EXs are better pretty much. Spit Ops EX now. Regular EXs are, are pretty nice. I mean, I don't like how they actually printed them and like the compared to Japanese anyway, they, look, they don't look as good. And they're pretty easy to pull. I think I've been hearing they're like one in every four packs. And uh, it seems like what we've been getting right now. So about one in four booster packs. They're they're very easy to pull, and there's not too many in the set. All uh, right, we're getting closer to being halfway through our first booster box here. Um, let's just keep it rolling here. I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what to expect, uh, to be honest with you. Annihilate. Will Sword and Shield base set keep up with the with the, the craziness that of, of Scarlet and Violet? I don't know. We're going to find out. We got the Arcanine now. Nice. So that's like a little bit better of an EX. You have the texture and stuff like that. I feel like you get either one of these Arcanines or a Gar the Gyarados version in every booster box. So these are not too tough to, pu to pull either. But yeah, they definitely have changed the pull rates on a lot of cards. And they like, like I said, they changed the, the rarities on top of that. So it's kind of interesting to see all the changes. We got the Drowsy card. I feel like, did I ever even pull this? I don't think I ever pulled this. That is, Drowsy looks so sad. Oh my god, everybody looks so sad. Why is everybody so sad? <laughs> it's a carnival. Let's keep rolling. Now, the other thing with Scarlet Violet base set is uh, the prices on some of these cards, probably a bunch of them are definitely going to keep going down. The set literally just released as of the recording of this. So I'd expect like it, it has that advantage, right? It's like the new kid on the block. Everybody wants to check out all the cards. Everybody's buying all the cards. Everybody's using them for their decks and everything like that. But 
over time, I feel like they'll kind of level off. Magnazone EX, especially with the high pull rate. All right, we got one more on the left side, and then we're moving on to the right side of this booster box. All right, let's go. We got Quaxley, Katie, Resters Research, Skeletor. I will say it's pretty nice not having to do the pack trick on these anymore. Pack trick, like, you know, it just takes more time, and you're like, they could just make it like this, and then you're good. Not really counting the hollows at all, because hollows you get in every single booster pack, so, I mean, I'm not. We're just doing the big pulls, basically. We're just counting the big pulls. Anything like EX or better, or V card or better, we're talking. All right, so far, um, yeah, so we did get, oh my god, I can't remember all the different <laughs> types of cards, what they're called. The gold card in this set is a hyper rare. That's what it's called. We got one hyper rare, and it ended up being the lightning energy, which isn't like the best, I guess. I prefer like the Maridon and the Coridon for the gold cards, but it's not too bad. Oh! Oh, oh no! That's it! That's the second best pull in the entire set! Garland and Violet Base set, Maridon EX Special Illustration! We did not just pull that! We did not just pull that. That might be a, that's a game changer. That's going to change the course of this entire opening right now. This one card is going to pretty much, I don't know. It's definitely a game changer. This is the second most expensive card in the Fido's right in the middle there. Uh, in the entire set, just raw like that, it's 60 bucks. Just on that card, just that one pull, you got half of your value back. And we got to be sitting at about $80 in value, maybe 90 by now on this box. I'm just kind of like kind of eyeballing it up. Mariadon EX. Is that the saying? I don't know. I'm just, yeah, we're just, I'm just kind of like averaging it out because I just don't feel like looking up every single card. I'm sure you'll see prices popping up on the screen for them, but like after the edits. But yeah, prob probably like 85, 90 maybe is my guess right now on this. Just, just the EXs are better. So we got a lot of value. The thing is, hold on a second. The thing is the Sword and Shield base set booster boxes are actually a lot more expensive then Scarlet and Violet, just because it's so much older and there's not as many around. Does that mean it's necessarily a better set? No. Tougher to find? Probably. Probably. But it definitely wasn't like the most popular set from Sword Shield. How do we got two? I don't think I... I didn't think you could get two of these. Okay. We got two of the Arcanine EX. All right, let's keep rolling. We are almost done. Scarlet and Violet base set. And then we're moving into Sword Shield. All right, let's keep rolling. There's probably like eight more booster packs on this. Can we get anything else big? We got the special illustration. We got the hyper rare, so we got both of them. We got the Toad School now illustration rare. But let's keep it rolling, baby. Let's get some more goodies out of here. I doubt, I haven't seen, well, I haven't myself pulled two hyper rares in one box. Spit ups now, okay, we'll take it. We're probably at, we're probably at about $100 in pulls right now, if I had to guess. Uh, that, that's that's what I'm gonna say. Probably about 100 bucks. Um, that's pretty good, honestly. But again, the prices are higher right now because the set was just released a few days ago. Super hyped up. That's kind of just how it goes, right? And then everything's settled down a little bit. Cryodon. All right, we got four more packs. Then we're going back in time three years ago to Sword and Shield base set to see how we do versus the most modern set. All right, we're going back to Yellow Borders. We're going back to Card Trick, even though I'm probably not going to do the Card Trick on those packs. Mareep Annihilate. I do like that I can go straight through. I think I got the rhythm now on these. I think the trick is you just go straight through and then, like, they just save the code card for last. I think that's the easiest way to go about it. Pokeball. Instead of, like, flipping everything around, getting the code card, doing all that stuff. Our last booster pack is going to be nothing. Here it is, our little time capsule. We're going back in time to a different time of Pokemon card collecting. Uh, but it's Sword Shield base set. And it should be, what, 2000 and... 2020, yeah. 20, 2020. 2020. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We some, I can't, dude, I don't know. Time flies. But anyway, 36 packs. Oh, my God. And I forgot. So that's a green code card, which means... But, oh, my God. It's actually getting weird to look at cards with yellow borders now. Yo, this is actually trippy a little bit. Like, it doesn't feel... It's so weird now. What? What? Just like a... After opening Scarlet Violet for like a week or two, I guess it's been two weeks with Scarlet Violet. This actually feels a little bit weird with Yellow Border. How is that even possible? Am I the only one? Anyway, a Sword Shield base set booster box is actually going for, I think, almost $300. Probably like $275-ish to $300. And uh, that's a lot. 
What have we got? Oh, yes. All right, we're still putting up a fight. Let's get it. Nice. The Snorlax V-Bags. I remember when I first pulled this card back in the day. That's actually a top 10 most valuable card in the set. Uh, even though it's not the rainbow version, we'll take it. I think it's like a $14 or $15 card raw. So that's pretty solid, honestly. More Petco. We probably we got to beat around $100 in, in value on raw pulls. Um, the only thing, though, if you think about it, though, this box, like I mentioned, is like $275, which it doesn't... If you're talking about value, like, on the actual paying for how much the packs cost versus, like, what you pull out of them, this is really tough to beat because we'd have to technically get, like, $275 in pulls, which is uh, highly unlikely unless you're grading the cards and you get, like, the best card in the set and maybe it gets, like, a 10 or something. Um, but the most valuable card in the set is going to be the Marnie, just the regular full art. It's not even the rainbow or anything. Going for about $50 raw. Second most expensive is going to be that Snorlax VMAX as a rainbow. Going for around $31 or $32 raw. Um, and then the Quick Ball, actually, is the third most expensive, around $26 raw. Um, the Marnie rainbow is next at around $23 raw. Then the Zacian. I want to pull that, that gold Zacian for about $22. Um, but like right off the bat, you can tell there's some bigger hitters in Scarlet and Violet. And I hate to say it. But Scarlet and Violet had 14 EX cards or better pulled out of the box. I got one VMAX right now. And we're crushing through this box. And uh, it's not looking too good. Gengar, oh my god. The times have changed. Did you even see that? There you go. The times have changed very rapidly here. Green code card. I'm not even used to that now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. What is this box? It was only one pull. We got a Zacian, a regular V. Oh my God, okay. It's it's cool, but it's just a regular V. Just a regular old V. Oh my God, we 100% we need to get like a gold or rainbow top pull. Or, you know what, the Marnie, if we could pull the Marnie regular full art, that would be solid because it's just a regular full art. It's not like, oh my God, that could be it. That could be it. Ah, oh, the Grammarant V! Just a big bird! Alright, we'll take it. I think we got probably around like $20 in value. Not the worst. Shelter! That's the most, the, <laughs> the craziest shelter that you will ever see. Is that shelter right there in this set. I forgot it was in this set. Um, but yeah, can, can we, can we do better? Can we do better? Oh my god. Left side! Those secret rares! You know, you can't get special illustrations. You can't get trainer galleries. We got one VMAX. One V, regular V, and one full art V on the left side. That is, if there is something not to open up, to like buy, to spend almost three dollars on a booster box, it would probably be the set. <laughs> Unless something crazy happens. Uh, wow. Fourteen pulls. Remember, Scarlet and Violet. We have three right now. Three, and we are well over halfway through this booster box. All right. Come on. Toxic Croak, regular hollow. Ooh. Okay. This is not looking too great right now. I gotta say. Sandaconda. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. Green code card. Green and white code card. That's good. There's something in here. I think it's just a regular. It's a regular Lapras V card. Oh my god. This is not looking good. <laughs> this is bringing back memories though. Like. This is what it used to be like, opening up cards. We'd be sitting here opening a whole box up, getting, like, nothing. <laughs> it was, like, so hard to get your value out of packs. Oh, my God. I definitely don't want to go back to this time when it was just, like, wow. It's definitely, definitely, you can see the difference now. I hope you guys, like, can really see the difference now because this is the first time I put these two sets next to each other. The original Sword and Shield base and the Scarlet and Violet. It is night and day. I only got four pulls right now. What is actually happening? I actually, I remember it was bad, but I don't remember it being this bad. Oh my God, we still, we're probably still like sitting around $20 or so in value. And on top of that, you gotta pay more than double what you pay for a Scarlet and Violet box. Yikes. Oh my God, this is the worst thing ever now. I don't think there's any coming back from this, unless we don't even got a secret rare. 
Unless we get a really good secret rare. <laughs> Not too good. <laughs> Red your rock. Okay, yeah. Wow. This is uh, How to Burn Money 101. Opening a Sword and Shield base set booster box for $300. How to Burn Money 101. More Peko V. Um, yeah. It's obviously it's not all about the, the value of the cards and everything like that, but it is in a way because if you spend three hundred dollars on Sword and Shield booster box, it's not the best decision financially. Sure, it's probably fun. I mean you might have fun, right? Like it's all about having fun and collecting cards. We got Sable IV, but like at the end of the day, you can spend three hundred dollars, you get the whole set. <laughs> you can get probably more than the whole set. Now you can probably get the whole set. You get the whole entire set, pack fresh. All the big, all the pulls, all of them. You probably get for three hundred dollars. So that's why. It doesn't make sense. We are catching up a little bit on the pulls. We got three, four, five, six, seven, but eighty percent of them are regular V cards. Eighty percent of them are regular V cards. That right there, we probably got. I'll be generous and say we got like thirty dollars in value. Thirty dollars in value. Oh my God, it's over. Game over. I think we know who won that one. All right, guys, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.